Hello and welcome to Ginger Prime. My name is Brian and this is going to be a video that serves hopefully as a PSA for those of you who might suffer from uh, seizures, epilepsy, essentially. Uh, now I'm going to just dive into, uh, we've got some reports going around on the, on the internet and I'm hoping that this will be a boost to that, allowing you to be informed or if you know anybody who suffers from epilepsy can be informed and just so everybody can be safe and having a great, uh, and a great, a great experience with Cyberpunk this week. Now, uh, Shack News reporting Cyberpunk 27.7 has a moment seemingly uh, designed to trigger epilepsy and no PSA is currently in the game. So this is what is serving as a PSA for you guys until it either gets patched in or an update so that way you can kind of turn this off and on. Uh, they are quoting a uh, descriptor uh, by Game Informer. When suiting up for a brain dance, and we'll cover what that is here in a second, uh, especially with Judy, V will be given a headset that is meant uh, to on-site uh, the instance. The headset fits both over eyes and features a rapid onslaught of white and red blinking LEDs, much like the actual device neurologists use in real life to trigger a seizure when they are trying to trigger one for a diagnosis purposes, if it's not modeled off the IRL design. It's a very spot-on coincidence, and because of that, it's one of the aspects that I would personally advise you avoid altogether. So, there's a way to avoid it, so even if you do suffer from seizures, seizures, excuse me, uh, you'll note that you can actually avoid this by avoiding the brain dance, which essentially might, you know, as a follow up, what is a brain dance and all the links will be in the description. If you guys want to go read these articles uh, for yourself, it's a time in which that you can go play and relive somebody who had a brain dance chip on. So essentially in the game, characters might have this chip, which records their interactions. Uh, essentially what happens is that you can actually experience uh, them and their, their, their time with it. Just there we go, brain dance. Um, when they go ahead and like they pass, and so you can feel all the pain, you can you can relive their experience, feel what they feel, see what they see. But the thing that this system does, as opposed to like just the recording aspect, will allow, allow you to actually fast forward and rewind. Seems like more if you're a detective, but it's also on the black market. So if you do suffer from seizures, just be aware. Uh, the brain dance functionality within Cyberpunk 2077. Hopefully, you can stay safe and have a good time with this game and. I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of patching or some kind of thing that might happen in the future. And if that doesn't happen on Thursday, just note, I want to make you guys aware of this. Stay safe. Love you very much. Thanks for being here. I'm going to wrap up. I'm not going to waste your time. I will see you hopefully in my next video. But until then, take care. This video is sponsored by me, Ginger Prime. Hopefully you'll check out my podcast channel, Ginger Gaming Radio, which we have lots of guests, lots of great conversations, and even more highlights. Links are in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks.